In today's lecture, we will cover indeterminate forms, which we may encounter when we are calculating limits, and also L'Hopital's rule, which might help us to overcome this situation. So, but to start with, what are indeterminate forms? Why are these forms that you see over here indeterminate? So, we already know when we are calculating limits, so in other words, in limit form, zero over a constant gives us zero, or uh, a constant divided by zero gives us infinity in limit form. Or uh, infinity over a constant is infinity, whereas uh, a constant divided by infinity gives us zero in the limit form. However, there are other cases such as zero over zero or infinity over infinity. Let's see a simple example over here. So as x goes to zero, what's the limit of x over x? If we consider this, this is a, when x goes to zero, this is zero over zero. However, when we are calculating this easy limit, it's just one, right? Because x over one, x is one. Or see another case, limit as x goes to zero of x squared over x. This is again a zero over zero case. However, in this case, this reduces to limit as x goes to zero of x, which is zero. Or another example, limit as x goes to zero of x over x cubed. In this case, this is again a zero over zero case. However, we can also simplify this to obtain limit as x goes to zero of one over x squared, which is one over zero, which is infinity. As you can see, the zero divided by zero form, the indeterminate form, is indeterminate because the result is, can be different. So here we have one, zero, or infinity for the same uh, form. That's why these forms are called indeterminate forms. But how are we gonna solve these problems? To solve these, uh, to overcome this situation, we have a so-called L'Hopital's rule. L'Hopital's rule tells us when we are calculating the limit as x goes to uh, c of a quotient f of x, divided by g of x, where f and g are continuous functions, equals the limit, the same limit, of the quotient of their derivatives. So limit as x goes to c of f prime of x divided by g prime of x. However, this is only true when we are having one of these two cases. So either zero or zero or infinity over infinity. Let's see some examples. The first example is limit as x goes to zero of sine x over x. So as x goes to zero, sine, of, sine zero is zero and x goes to zero. So we have an indeterminate form of zero over zero. In this case, we may apply the L'Hopital's rule, which gives us limit as x goes to zero. The derivative of sine is cosine x divided by the derivative of x, which is one. So note that when we are applying the L'Hopital's rule, we are taking the derivative of the numerator and denominator separately, and not, we are not taking the derivative uh, of a quotient. So when x goes to zero, cosine x uh, goes to cosine zero, which is one. So let's see another example. Limit as x goes to zero of x squared over x squared plus one. If you consider this case, this is not an indeterminate form because this is zero over one, which is actually zero. So that means when you don't have an indeterminate form, you shouldn't use L'Hopital's rule. If you use it, you will have a wrong result. So let's see what happens if you use L'Hopital's rule. If you think this is an indeterminate form and take the derivative of the numerator and denominator, you have limit as x goes to zero of two x divided by two x, which is one. As you can see, this is a wrong result. 
So that means we shouldn't use the Lopitas rule if we don't have an indeterminate form. Another example, limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x over x squared. So let's check what, which form we have over here. e to the infinity gives us infinity over infinity squared, which is infinity. So in that case, we have uh, the indeterminate form infinity over infinity. That means we can use L'Hopital's rule that gives us limit as x goes to infinity of the derivative of e to the x is e to the x over 2x. So if you recheck, we still have the infinity over infinity in determinant form. However, we can reapply L'Hopital's rule. This is limit as x goes to infinity of e to the x. This time, derivative of 2x is 2. Now, we got rid of the indeterminant form. Now we have infinity over 2, which is infinity. Let's have another example. Limit as x goes to infinity of x times sine 1 over x. So let's see what we have here. As x goes to infinity, we have infinity times 1 over infinity gives us 0. Sine of 0 is 0. So infinity times 0. This is another indeterminate form over here. So, uh, however, we cannot directly apply L'Hopital's rule because we don't have a fraction or we don't have a quotient. In order to apply L'Hopital's rule, we have to bring this term uh, to a quotient form. So to do this, we can rewrite x as 1 over 1 over x. So this is the same as limit as x goes to infinity of sine 1 over x divided by 1 over x because 1 over 1 over x is nothing but x. So this time we have sine of 1 over infinity sine of 0, 0 over 1 over infinity 0. So that means we have the indeterminate form 0 over 0. And here we can apply L'Hopital's rule since we have a quotient. So applying the rule, limit x goes to infinity. Now, the derivative of sine 1 over x is cosine 1 over x times the derivative of the inside function from the chain rule minus 1 over x squared. And uh, derivative of 1 over x is minus 1 over x squared. Now you can see that we can cancel out these terms to have just only uh, as x goes to infinity 1 over x goes to 0 so cosine 0 which is 1. So let's take another example limit as x goes to infinity of square root of x plus 1 minus square root of x minus 1. In this case we obviously have a mi infinity minus infinity uh, case. So again, we want to use the uh, L'Hopital's rule. However, this is not a fraction. In such a case, we need to turn this into a fraction. So here we can do it by multiplying this term with its conjugate. That means I'm going to multiply this with its conjugate square root of x plus 1 plus square root of x minus 1. If you multiply this, uh, you will have um, x plus 1 minus x minus 1 because a plus b times a minus b gives you a square minus b square. So here, now let's see what we have over here. This is nothing but x minus x cancels out. We have 1 uh, minus minus 1 gives us 2 over square root of x plus 1 plus square root of x minus 1. This time we have infinity plus infinity which is infinity 2 over infinity constant over infinity gives us 0. So in this case we didn't have to use L'Hopital's rule at all. Now let's see examples regarding the exponential forms of the indeterminate forms. So limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the x. 
So as x goes to infinity, 1 over infinity goes to 0. 1 plus 0 is 1. So we have 1 to the infinity, the indeterminate form 1 to the infinity. When we encounter an exponential indeterminate form, we have to use a technique to transfer this into a fraction so that we can apply L'Hopital's rule. In this case, I'm going to call this limit L, assuming that the limit exists. And ra rather than calculating the limit, uh, the, the value of L, I'm going to calculate its logarithm. In fact, ln of L. So ln of L, if, if I take the ln on both sides over here, ln of L gives, gives me ln of the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the x. Now we know that a uh, limit can go into continuous functions or also may go out of the continuous functions. So I can uh, change the, switch the positions of the limit and ln over here to obtain limit as x goes to infinity of ln uh, 1 plus 1 over x to the x. So now, why did I do that? To take the power inside the ln uh, as a coefficient outside. So using the logarithm rule, I can rewrite this as limit x goes to infinity of x times ln 1 plus 1 over x. Because remember, you can take the power of the term inside a logarithm as a coefficient uh, of the logarithm. So now let's see what we have over here. So as x goes to infinity, this is infinity times uh, ln 1, which is 0. So I have the indeterminate form infinity times 0. So in the beginning I had 1 to the infinity, now I have infinity times 0. But we already seen how to solve this problem. Uh, we need to change this uh, into a fraction. So we can rewrite this as limit x goes to infinity of ln 1 plus 1 over x divided by 1 over x because x is nothing but 1 over 1 over x. Now in this case I have uh, the indeterminate form 0 over 0. Now I can apply L'Hopital's rule. This is limit as x goes to infinity. So the derivative of the numerator is 1 over the inside of ln, which is 1 plus 1 over x, times uh, the derivative of the inside function from the chain rule. Uh, from the 1, we have nothing. For the 1 over x, we have minus 1 over x squared. So when it comes to the denominator, we have 1 over x. The derivative of uh, 1 over x is minus 1 over x squared. So as you can see, we can cancel these out. And then if we, uh, if we simplify this, we can rewrite this as x over x plus 1. And in this case, we have, as x goes to infinity, infinity over infinity case. This is another indeterminate form that we can uh, directly apply L'Hopital's rule to. So this gives us limit as x goes to infinity 1 over 1 as the derivative of x is 1 and the derivative of x plus 1 is also 1. This is 1. However, this is not my limit value because this is ln of it. So we need to calculate L. L is e to the 1, which is e. Another example, limit as x goes to 0 from the right hand side of x to the x. So again, this is obviously a 0 to the 0 indeterminate form. Again, this, since this is an exponential form, I'm going to call this L and calculate L and L. In this case, I will directly write uh, by changing the positions of limit and ln to have limit as x goes to 0 from the right of ln x to the x. Now, like the previous problem, I can take this power as a coefficient in front of the logarithm. So I can write this as limit x goes to 0 from the right 
x times ln x. Now, this is a 0 times ln of 0 as we approach, as x approaches 0 from the right, ln of x goes to negative infinity. So this is a kind of 0 times infinity case. So in this case, what we do, we rewrite, we try to rewrite this as a fraction. So in this case, we can write ln of x over 1 over x, because x is 1 over 1 over x. So now we have uh, negative infinity divided by infinity. So infinity over infinity, that means now I can apply L'Hopital's rule. By doing so, I obtain derivative of ln x is 1 over x, and derivative of 1 over x is minus 1 over x squared. So if you simplify this fraction, you get limit as x goes to 0 from the right of minus x. And this is obviously 0. However, this is not my limit. My limit is L equals e to the 0, which is 1. And a final example, limit as x goes to infinity of ln x to 1 over x. So here we have ln of infinity gives us infinity, 1 over infinity gives us 0. So we have the, the final indeterminate form infinity to the 0. Again, because this is an exponential form, I'm going to call this L and then calculate ln L, which is limit as x goes to infinity of ln of ln x to 1 over x. So again, by taking the uh, power uh, as a coefficient, limit x goes to infinity. And because this is 1 over x, this goes directly to the denominator ln of ln of x. So let's see what we have here. We have ln infinity, which is infinity, ln infinity again, infinity over infinity. So nice, we can apply L'Hopital's rule over here, limit x goes to infinity. From the denominator, we have 1. Now we have to calculate the derivative of ln of ln of x. So starting with the outside ln, I have 1 over ln of x times the derivative of the inside function from the chain rule, which is 1 over x. And this is nothing but limit as x goes to infinity, 1 over x times ln x. Here I have infinity times infinity gives me infinity, 1 over infinity gives me 0. Now, again, 0 is not my limit. ln of l is 0. That means l equals e to the 0, which is 1. Today, we have seen indeterminate forms and L'Hopital's rule when we are calculating limits. There are two things to remember about these topics. Firstly, we can only use L'Hopital's rule when we have an indeterminate form. And actually, in practice, when we have either 0 over 0 or infinity over infinity because we need a fraction. And secondly, uh, when applying L'Hopital's rule, we have to be careful not to take the derivative of the quotient but of the numerator and denominator separately.